Hi! Now we are ready to start part A of 2015. Now remember there are three solutions. So as you do, always remember because you start with a solution, you have to explain what you see the moment you get a solution. So get ready. Let's begin. Hi. Today we are going to go through 2015 GCE O level practical paper. Are you ready? Let's begin the preparation. Okay, the question goes like this. You are provided with three solutions X, Y and Z and between them, these three solutions contain two different sodium salts. You are also provided with a solution P. Now the question here says that between the two of them, there are two different sodium salts which means that you have sodium something and sodium something and sodium something because there are three sorts total x y and z but out of this three two of them will be repeated and they say you are also provided with a solution p now you are provided with x y and z so we have over here x y z and of course our solution P and this is the next one okay be uh, acidified potassium manganate which we're going to use it later okay now it goes on to say carry out the following test and you should test for any gas evolved carefully record your observation the volume given below are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured unless instructed otherwise part A part 1 here says label 1 test tube X and add about 1 cm cube of solution X into it. So we're going to label it. So let me take one test tube out of here. Okay, 1 cm cube. And label X. And A, part 1. It goes on to say, label another test tube Y and add about 1 cm of solution Y into it. It goes on to say, label another test tube Z and add about another 1 cm of solution Z into it. So this X, Y and Z is repeated of the steps of part X. So right now, I'm going to repeat all of them. 1 cm of Y. A part 1. They say keep the contents of test tube X, Y, and Z and use for A part 2. Now let's move on to see what does A part 2 says, okay? But before that, here it says add dilute acid slowly to each test tube. Uh -huh. This is the part where you need to take note of. They say add dilute nitrate acid. Now every time when dilute acid is added or any acid is added, let's go back to our, yes, you are right, qualitative analysis notes over here will tell you exactly what we are testing on add acid ah is this part usually we will see effervescent and if there's carbon dioxide produced it shows that carbonate is present and how do you test for carbon dioxide is none other than lime water over here so right now i'm going to use and prepare lime water so lime water now i need about one third full of it okay one third is about less than half a test tube. So, and I label lime water over here so that you can see it. And I make sure that I can see it later. Okay, lime water. So, let me take out this part. Let's pour directly lime water. Okay. Now, because they say that there are two of them over here that are repeated, so I will prepare two sets of lime water. One third full, estimated it amount. Okay, and then put it over here. Now, because you're testing on CO2, so I make sure I have a delivery tube, the long tube here, make sure that it goes in to one of the lime water. Okay. Let's see what they are asking. Now, the next portion over here, they say, add more dilute nitrate acid 
to the solution in test tube X until the test tube is about half full and shake the test tube. Then add about 1 cm cube of barium nitrate solution. Let me labor it first before I go to see what we are testing on, okay? So let's do all the laboring. They say you have to add all the way to half a test tube full and then another barium nitrate. So this is about the estimated amount. I'm going to repeat it for Y as well. Now, let's use the QA notes. The QA notes over here says, if you add barium nitrate, nitric acid, followed by barium nitrate is actually a test for sulfate, if there is existence of white PP that, that, that is formed. So, I have to look for white precipitate, okay? So, nonetheless, I have prep, uh, prepared for X, Y, and Z test tube already. Let's move on to the next part. Now, the next one here, over here, they say, from your observation, suggest the identity for the N ion present in each of the solution X, Y, and Z. We already know that we are looking for carbonate and sulfate. So, I make sure also that over here, just now when I start doing the preparation over here at the at this part, when I know that it's carbonate, I make sure I write a carbonate here so that I remind myself I'm looking for carbonate. Barium nitrate here, I also write down sulfate to remind myself that I'm looking for sulfate as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. Now, the last part says give evidence from your observation to support your identification of the two N ions, N ion 1 and N ion 2. So after I do, I will be able to see which one contain, uh, which one of it does it contain. Okay, so let's move on. Now, B part 1 is completely everything for the solution P over here, if you see correctly here. And this is completely different, okay? So, and this is solution P, as we see. So, what I will do is, I will do all the part for one, part A first, and part B together. Since I've already prepared, and let's start the execution. This is X, 1 cm cube of X. Okay, and then... Ni nitrate acid, let's make sure nitrate acid is out, okay, prepare nitrate acid there's no visible reaction, so let me quickly write it down, okay, now first I need to describe what it said, X is a colorless solution now in practical, we are allowed to do short form, okay, now then over here, when HNO3 is added. There's no visible reaction. Okay, done. Let's move on to the part Y. Okay, now Y. Add nitric acid. Wow, I can see bubbles forming. Quickly adjust it attached to the lime water. Let's see what happened. Ah, I see white precipitate forming already over here in the test tube. And I'm, I just keep on shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking. The white precipitate is observed, all right? So right now, let's quickly write down our observation. Same thing. Y is a colorless solution. And over here, when HNO3 is added, now effervescent is produced, Okay, let me go over here. I always tell the student to make sure that you copy exactly what they say. Effervescent, E-F-F-E-R-V-E-S-V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E -E. Effervescent is produced. And white precipitate. Remember, white PPT, okay? Exactly what they say. White PPT is formed. 
Okay, full stop. So I know that CO2 is produced over here, which means that Y contains carbonate. Okay, and because Y contains carbonate, I know already, I quickly go back to where? To the, this portion here, because they say you're supposed to suggest the identity. This is how you collect your marks, because it's upon how much you have written down. I quickly write here, Y contains CO3 2 minus. Yes, let's move on to Z now. Z, 1 cm cube. Acid. White precipitate is observed. Uh, that's that's effervescent produced. Okay, so let's see. Whoa, the precipitate is observed in my lime water now. Can see? It is very, very obvious. Okay, now over here is a clear solution. Just now it's also clear solution. So, same thing. Z is a colorless solution. When HNO3 is added, effervescent, EFF, ERVE, SCENCE, okay, is produced. White. PPT is formed. Now, it also shows that Z contains carbonate. So same thing, okay? Let's be a little bit more careful. This part here, we write carbonate. Alright, let's move on to the next part. over here says add more acid to x so this is x i will add more acid to x to about half a test tube full that is quite a bit all right half a test tube full half a test tube full almost reached my half test tube already and then over here you have to add barium nitrate Okay, if you see closely, okay, there's white precipitate forming at the top of it. Okay, so over here, I hope you all can see it because uh, from where I can, it can be seen. Yes, the white precipitate coming more and more obvious, becoming more and more obvious. And because the background here is not white, so but uh, on my hand here, I think you can see that it's white precipitate. So over here, when S is added, solution X remain colorless when barium nitrate is added white ppt is observed let's move on to the next one same thing repeat for y nitrate acid add to about half full when acid is added effervescent is produced okay so i have to write it down and then let's add barium nitrate. Ah, I can also see white precipitate forming and more white precipitate forming. Okay, so when acid added, effervescent, E F F E R V E S C E N C E is produced. When BANO3 is added, white PPT is observed. Okay, now one thing that I forgot just now, which is I did not faithfully went back to here to write down. You have to, so that you remind yourself that whatever that you have found out, you quickly write it at the side to remind yourself that, hey, I have completed this uh, few portion already. Now, it's good that we already know that Y contains two repeated, carbonate and sulfate over here. Lastly, let's go to Z. This is Z, add more acid. Effervescent is observed, and effervescent is observed, and effervescent is observed, okay? Wow, but it's still a clear solution, so let's add barium nitrate. No visible reaction, okay? So I'm going to write down. When acid... 
Let me adjust this. Okay, when acid is added, effervescent is produced when BANO3 is added no visible reaction now if there is no existence of sulfate here okay i will not write down over here no so4 i just leave it okay now this part here just now i forgot to write something which is i forgot to say that when acid is added okay so please remember to write it down for yourself in exam now over this part i have finished finding all the different anions okay let me adjust this and now this next part here they say give evidence from your observation to support your identification of the two anions so i already know that sulfate and carbonate is present so anion one okay x and y contain so42 minus okay what is your evidence when ba and o3 was added what ppt scene and z contain z and y contains carbonate when acid added Effervescent produce cause white PPT in lime water. Okay, we have finished the first part. Hi, after you have watched 2015 the first part, now you understand what I meant by I do a different way of conducting the entire experiment. We will do the preparation first and after which immediately we will carry on with the execution. So everything is per one portion by one portion. So we have finished the section A which is the only part A. So get ready, let's watch part B.